Hey and welcome to another video. On this one we're going to be covering how to connect your Bluetooth either the PS4 or PS5 controllers um, to your Ubuntu system. And this also works with other controllers. I have an IPEGA. IPEGA? IPEGA? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a generic one. Uh, that also works uh, for Ubuntu. So, And we're going to be testing it with a couple of games or emulators. Okay. So first things first, how do we pair a controller? So if you already have one, I'm pretty sure you already know, but just in case, leave these two buttons pressed on the PS4. When you're turning it on, just leave it pressed so it pairs, it goes into pairing mode, okay? Same thing for the PS5, on the PS5, you leave, you're gonna leave these two buttons pressed, okay? To turn it off, to turn the controller off, you gotta leave this one pressed for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or something like that. On the PS4, you gotta leave this one pressed for 20 years, apparently. Anyway, with that said, now you know how to tr put the, the controllers in pairing mode. Once they're in pairing mode, you just go to your computer, your Ubuntu here, let's turn on the, the Bluetooth. Let's go here. And right now, I have one DualSense wireless controller here, but I actually have two PS5 controllers and two PS4 controllers. I'm going to be turning on the this DualSense wireless controller, which is the black one that I have here. I have a black and, and another one, which is a, like, a, like a purple, purple, violet. I don't know what color that is. Anyway, I'm gonna turn on the, the black one, and you can see that uh, this is gonna connect did I connect the wrong one? Oops. Yep. Uh, give me a second because I, I got a, another PS4 black one. Here's the PS5 one. I'm turning it on now. There we go. See? To turn it off, I got to leave the button, like I said, press. At least in the PS5, it's quicker. Man, probably it's like the 10 seconds. On the PS4, it just feels like um, I'm going to lose my finger there. Give me a second, just to put it on the charger. I have like a little charger for the PS5 ones. Okay, we have seen how a PS5, after you've paired it with, a, with Ubuntu, connects to it uh, quickly. Now I'm going to do the other PS5, the purple one, okay? The purple one is not shown here, so I'm just gonna enable it. I'm gonna put it in pairing mode in a second. And let's wait for the thing to actually turn, there we go. Okay, there, it show immediately. Do know that if it doesn't show, if it doesn't show just by chance, immediately, either you can turn off the Bluetooth or you can do the following trick. Just click somewhere else and then you come back to the Bluetooth. And that's like, a, it would refresh this, this thing here. Okay, so either you turn off the Bluetooth, you wait, or you change here. So if, if you're gonna be turning off the Bluetooth, turn it off, count to 10, something like that. Turn it on again and it should show there just in case for some reason unknown it takes that longer. But if we actually click on something else, like we click anything else and then come back, it immediately shows there. So, okay, so we're still in pairing mode for the controller. It's like waiting to connect. I just click there, it connects, and then the blue lights of the controller, that they just stay put, okay? Um, with that done there, I'm, I want to connect um, the PS4 controller. So I'm gonna do the PS4 controller here. Let me put it in pairing mode. There, it's in pairing mode. You can see that it's not showing here. Th this wireless controller, I think it's the other PS4 that I have. For PS5, they show like this, DualSense wireless controllers. For PS4s, they show like wi wireless controller alone. I'm just gonna click here, come back here. Okay, I'm seeing the neighbor's computer. That's a that's a really powerful Bluetooth there. That's a that's a weird one there. Okay, still not showing. Or is it this one? I'm just gonna make it. I'll make it forget that one. I doubt it's that one, but ah, there we go. Man, that took long. Okay, let's connect to it. Let's see what 
what it's doing. Yeah, it's still blinking. Sometimes this happens. At least it only happens once. For the controller, ah, uh, because it turned off. Crap. The the controller, I mean. I think it's a, I gotta charge it. Um, Let me click here again. If it's not doing the thing and you don't wanna wait, you can always just stop the, the Bluetooth here. There we go. That that's a by the way, this is a gnome thing. So that that's why I'm it's good that you're actually seeing this on the video. Okay, so we got the 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 controller in pairing mode still. I'm assuming it's this one. Yep, it's that one. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have a a PS4 controller. You can see that the time that it takes actually to connect, just a few seconds. But if it goes crazy which sometimes happens by the way just turn off the bluetooth or do that thing that i just said which is just uh, changing it here i'm going to enable the other ps5 controller so one of these two is going to uh, show us connecting in a second there we go okay so for testing purposes i mean you can play with two controllers four controllers if you wanted to let's disable the wireless just remove it because actually the I got two computers, so one computer, the one that I'm on right now, handles the dual, the PS4, and the other one handles the PS5, so we don't get confused. So I'm just going to keep the dual sense, uh, the PS5 connected there, and now let's start testing this. So let's go to the emulator here. Let's check, for example, if the emulator detected the controller. Let's go to input, click here. There we go. If it doesn't, just you just click refresh. And if it still doesn't, close the emulator and open it again, just in case it only detects in the beginning of the loading process, something like that. We're going to click there and look at my weird PS4 controller. Lord, I'm going to select the Pro Controller here. Let's save that. Um, by the way, for the PS5 controllers, you got the rumble effect kind of thing there so you, you can literally enable that one there's no problem same for steam games and stuff like that so let's just do that and let's do i don't know this one okay let's wait for that thing to finish and we're also going to disable the the volume once it loads there we go oh and i got p i mean i got that Mango HUD running, Lord. Okay, let's test it. I'm gonna press the buttons. There we go. Uh, what the hell? I think my my kids were playing a lot here, especially my daughter. You can see that the thing works. Where's my guy? Where's my guy? There it is. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's start. For the Steam games, you do have to have the the controller or already enabled and working before you actually enter most of the games because for some reason, I'm guessing because of the way that it works on Steam, it doesn't detect them if you turn on the the, the controller after the game loaded on, on Steam. Okay, So here you can see that, woohoo, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the rumble effect is actually, you can control how rumble-ish it is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You want to eat that? Yeah. Anyway, okay, let's let's go to... Where's my, give me that thing. There's somebody here. Lol, goodbye. Okay, 
Anyway, anyway, let's let's quit because it's it's actually a pretty cool game. We have um we have a switch in the living room, so it's addicting. Anyway, coming back here to Steam, you can see that I got the controller also working. Let's go to Cuphead, for example. It's one that I uh, I mean I'm not gonna be playing Counter Strike with a controller. Like what the hell? Um, but Cuphead, let me see if I install it here, and I don't, crap, so let's just put the actual games that, um, can we play, play that one? I, I on live, maybe? Oh, I'm testing, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 now. See the performance and all that. Okay, let's wait. Oh my god, it's doing that shader thing. Okay, let's see if it detects a, the controller. Yeah, it does. Did it finish? No, it's going down. Maybe it's because of the the one that the the type of control that I got detected. There we go. This game should work great with your controller. No, it does not. The controller is not using Steam, but we will rely on the game's built-in controllers to play if available. I'm guessing enable that thing. Okay. Let's play it again, so it doesn't do that because the both the PS4 and PS5 have like a touchpad. Okay, so see, I'm moving the mouse pad with the actual uh, controller, do, 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 do. which I'm guessing is for pointing, okay, like Zelda with a link. That's me moving with that. Ah, there. Okay, so that's Steam Input Sex Asia. It's great that we're recording also the issues because in the future I might not remember them. There are some games that you're not supposed to be playing with a controller. <laughs> but at least now you see how um, issues that you could have with the controllers. Okay. If, again, if you turn off the Bluetooth, it will literally turn off the controllers, which is super cool. I don't have to press the button to turn them off or, or something. Okay. Same thing if you put them like in the for the PS5, if you put them on the charging uh, base they get automatically turned off here. Also, I forgot, I forgot. Let me show you something. If I turn on this and then I turn on the controller, let me show you something here. There we go, it connected, okay? Because obviously we paired before. But let me, let's go to the power um, area here. This is pretty cool. You can see how the, the controller is uh, it's uh, the, the battery status, okay? Also works for iPhone stuff if you connect them to, to Ubuntu. So I just wanted to mention that. If I turn off here, the, the controller again turns itself off. So there's a couple of things that you don't have to worry about. And if you have a controller issue, now you know where to handle it with a, with a Steam input thing here, okay? I know that the dual sense, meaning the, um, the PS5 controllers, they work beautifully, perfectly, and the PS4 um, before on Ubuntu 23.10, they it, it didn't actually turn itself off when you turned the Bluetooth off now, but on 24.04 it actually turns itself off 
And on depending on the game, sometimes the PS4 is not completely um, configured properly. Let's put it like that. So Steam actually gives you the option of configuring that yourself here, and basically it's mapping the the buttons. So hopefully this video helps in learning more about how you can connect your um, PS4 and PS5 controllers, and most likely other controllers. I, as I said, I've connected an iPega. I pick a controller. I've connected an Android uh, phone as a controller too. That also worked. So anyway, think positive. Big hugs to everybody.